call this meeting of the regular commissioner's meeting to order. Shall we rise for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As a matter of housekeeping, if you'd be so kind enough to turn your cell phones off I, or silence them, I'd appreciate that. First order of business is our department head reports. Mr. Corum from the highway department. No, it isn't. Well, it's going to... We get 10 minutes and we get the most committee. Well, why, why is that in front of the department? To be. Did you want it to be first? Yes. Have a seat and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Karen and Shirley. If I had the capabilities, I would have stamped a great big draft across this. Okay. But it is a draft that we have been working on. I don't want to take the time to read through the whole thing right now, but there's been a small committee of us working um, for the last couple of months, but really off and on since there was a meeting here with our liability insurance people, agent, and folks that they brought in to help us um, recover from and be able to turn around the terrible increases that we've had in the liability insurance cost. I, I can't remember the specific date, but I think that was like three years ago, and it almost doubled. And that was before or after a, another significant increase. And one of, one of the takeaways from the meetings that we had was that we needed to have some regular um, safety meetings with the, all of the county employees and have regular discussions about any kind of issues that we knew that could cause you know, future problems down the road, anything we could do to head them off. And then for many, many years, um, every year when it comes time to do the budget, there's this big unknown called health insurance. And no one can really give a quote in July or August when we're trying to finalize the budget because the numbers don't come in until I don't know when, November, December, or what have you. But a couple of years ago, I um, started working with Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, and one of the things that they recommend to help hold down health insurance costs um, is to have a wellness program. And I guess I'm going to ask Karen to fill in right here because there's been some pressure on her from both the county side, as should be, and the Anthem side. So um, Anthem actually offers a wellness program through the plans that we offer to Fayette County. And we have met with a lot of the people during the open enrollment about what they offer, but we want to incorporate it in the whole county. Because I know everybody couldn't make it to the meeting, and it's good to talk about it, but to actually get people to put it into play, I would not even want to guess how many people did or did not actually start the wellness program because you actually can be rewarded for it and that's a good thing it's a win-win because if you're rewarded for taking care of your health then it's going to come back in lower premiums if your claims are not extremely high like they have been for a number of years and that's why the cost of insurance is so high because the cost of claims are so high of course that's not all the fault of the people of course we know there's lots of factors in that but uh, med medical inflation just for one so um, just want to help incorporate with the safety and the wellness. You know, when I saw the statistics that that county was number 91 out of two, 92, I thought, oh my gosh, that is unacceptable, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, not only personal, but for the 91 county. out of 92 in what? The health of the county. Okay. The health. In what? And they use a lot of statistics in that. I don't know what all they in, use in, in it, but in, there's. it was out in the paper maybe a month, a couple months ago. And what, what criteria do they use, do you know? Uh, no. Premature death, um, uh, hospitalization oh. statistics. Cancer rate. Even obesity and diabetes. And smoking. Smoking, yeah. Cancer um, rate. 
answer right. Okay. And you know I'm that's trying to time. trying to bring these things out so that people understand the wellness committee is very very important because uh, insurance is one thing we cannot keep costs down on. We, we can we can keep the costs down, but but the way to do that is that the employee is going to have to pay more, and we don't pay our employees enough as it is now. I so, 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 uh, I'm I'm talking to the camera basically. I, I know you understand. Yeah, I, I know. And what I like to iterate that is, is because we could not give those quotes early because they want to look at your year of claims first, or at least nine months of it before they give a rate. And trying to even keep it from not raising is just extremely hard for us to you know keep saying no. We can't take a ten percent increase. We need to go lower. We need to go lower. So, my my point is okay. that that a wellness committee. Myself, I took upon myself about eight months ago to uh, lose the weight. It wasn't hard to, to tell that I was overweight. Uh, I have lost about 50 pounds. Uh, I feel tremendously better. My blood sugars are better, etc. It's no easy task. No. But the idea of this wellness committee is to help each employee implement any programs that, that are specific to their problems and thereby it, it helps them and in, in eventually it will help the uh, county with lower rates because there are lower claims. Exactly. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no. I'm that's just trying, you, to, trying to make the point as to why this isn't just another committee. This, is, this will, if everybody follows it and, and adheres to it, it's something that will actually help us lower our insurance costs. That's the idea. And increase the health of our employees. <laughs> yes. I'm going, to, I'm going to expound on this. Okay. And ex this this was brought up three years ago, mm -hmm. and I think you and I have talked about this. The safety program. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I yelled for about a month straight, saying, "Hey, we've got to have a safety program. We get the wellness thing." And it's been three years, and and I like the idea, but you know, the safety committee for all department heads helps keep costs down for insurance. That's what I said. You know, to understand where we cha make changes, this cord can't be here, it's a tripping hazard, this, that, workman's comp, okay? And it would eventually save the county money over time because we're being proactive on our liability insurance and we're being proactive on our health insurance, okay? okay. And I think it's a great idea. I was for it three years ago and I'm for it now, but that's the point of getting it into play and getting people to participate and make Today it Today is the day we start. <laughs> well, it took a long time to get here. <laughs> yeah, well, let, me, let me just quote, it's an old thing, and you know, when you've listened to all these tapes forever, if it is to be, it's up to me. And while it's not up to me individually, I think it is up to me and you and all of the elected county officials especially, and the others that have access to the information the knowledge that it absolutely is what each of us need to do like Frank took it on himself if it is to be he's the one that had to do it we can provide the information and then we have to provide the encouragement for each individual to get involved and to um, do what it takes to help promote safety in the workplace to learn about nutrition and physical activity um, condition care program through Anthem. Anthem is a great resource that we can use, but I wonder how many of our total employees have ever gone online and asked for that specific information. Um, the Healthy Lifestyles online program. Lots and lots of hints and um, ideas on how we can each make individual changes, small steps. Uh, Food safety and security and food resource management. Fayette County has a, a tremendous problem with the uh, lack of food security. And there's a lot of people that recognize that and suggest if we can bring together all of the ones that want to bring about improvement, you know, all of Fayette County will benefit, I'm sure. But like Zane here? said, we talked about it off and on for three years. We have set a schedule beginning March the 18th. With the blessing of the commissioners and the council, we would like to hold the very first of our quarterly safety and wellness meetings. And we've actually, in this letter, we're asking you to 
bless and send out to all the employees, if we would take the third Friday, beginning with March and then going to June, September, and December, we'll have it on a Friday morning. The idea, and again, we've been meeting a couple of weeks and have, some, have had some meetings. <coughs> the idea that we'll have the original first meeting in the courthouse with the courthouse employees and again I'm not sure how many fit in our conference room so they'll probably have to be a couple of meetings but we also talked about using the heads of the department and the department heads taking it to the employees so we can talk about that see what you think is the best but the, the employees that work here in the courthouse it's fairly easy to get them in that in that conference room you know once every three months to have a meeting but we're going to be asking each of the department managers that work outside of the courthouse, I'm talking community corrections, I'm talking the sheriff's department and the highway department. Um, animal shelter. The animal shelter. The, the wellness committee and the commissioners, the, with the assistance of the health department and the extension office, will put together the package there will be certain topics covered each meeting where we address our safety record. I think we are asking Anthem to provide uh, data as far as what is our um, usage as far as the health insurance. What can, where are we now? Do we need to really push hard to, you know, use it less? You know, really a lot of it is educating people on how to use our um, health resources. The idea of what does it cost going to the emergency room as opposed to going to an urgent care center. But bottom line, there will be an agenda each of these quarterly meetings where we go over the safety statistics of the county, any important information that we need to share with the county, uh, employees, uh, opportunities to participate. Lots of things have been tossed around. Uh, the Biggest Loser is a very popular program, especially this time of year. And it really just takes one person willing to coordinate it. Um, I think I asked Frank's permission if we could move the scales up into your conference room so that people could jump on the scales once a week. If we can implement this Biggest Loser program, we intend to try to do that for the March 18th meeting. Um, a health fair. The hospital is, is great for putting on health fairs and maybe we could have our own little courthouse health fair when uh, the weather gets a little bit better. We're hoping to host, go back and host the blood drives again. People need, you know, a good source of blood and there's no substitute for, for blood. The health department used to hold um, blood drives like every two months. Kind of got away from that for a while, but you know, it's one of those good things that we can do and give back to the community. No, I got with a blood drive. They get it like a little mini physical in that blood drive. So it's it's one of those. Well, gotta eat healthy. So I have a good reading from that. I had <laughs> a little mini physical even. So it's a good thing that it's people try to do better when they know they're going to be giving the blood to, to others too. I think. And I many do. times, just the blood pressure check or the the uh, screening, you can you know catch things very early. Send people off to their. To their position so I had talked to sorry I had talked to the hospital several years ago about having a wellness center to where people could instead of they can't go to the doctor or they, they, they can't go to the doctor because the doctor's office is closed or whatever and at the point where the county employees could go somewhere and and be able to at very minimal cost and they could administer medication or because they have the flu or vice versa and it doesn't run the you know, you're not running the premiums up and the insurance company's not paying and negotiate that deal that would save on our county insurance. It's something else I'd like to see. I mean, I don't know how that, it would take a lot to get that implemented, but we all work together for the better health of the community and keeping the cost down on county insurance. Sure. Well, one of the things that we're requesting as the commissioners and the council send this letter out to all the employees, we're, we're looking for volunteers to be a part of the wellness committee. Um, volunteers that will help establish the specific measurable goals that we want to set for the county. I'd like to see Mrs. King on that, uh, on your committee. She, <laughs> that way she'd be completely authorized to uh, uh, act on our behalf. And I'd second that. 
I accept. You accept? Okay. Thank you, Leona. So do you need a motion from us today to accept this? I would, we would certainly appreciate it. We've got a pretty tight schedule. March 18th is just a little over a month from now. And like I said, we want to put together the agenda for each of the meetings and would appreciate the Otis input as well. But again, one of the things that we would talk about are our health and safety statistics where we have now and hopefully we will start measuring and working to improve that. And uh, again, the nutrition, the physical activity, uh, a walking program. Number one, you know, it gets people active and, and helps lose weight. Also some information, we've got some great stairs in the courthouse that are <coughs> relatively, you know, they're good stairs for walking up and down. There's good handrails. And we're talking about putting education posters along the way. So, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of going up and down the stairs as a part of your daily exercise. But we would like if you could bless it and then take a look at the letter, see if it's ready for you to implement. We'd like to send it out with a couple of health brochures or one-pagers to get people started thinking about the meeting and um, then it, it will require some paper. That was one thing I wanted to address. We don't really have any extra money for a budget for this, but I think a flyer to each of the county employees once a month would be money well spent and we are looking for grant funds because we are so low in the county we certainly qualify for some extra help from the state to help us move off of our 91st place um, I can't remember the name of the county but since this uh, since they started a wellness program this county managed to move up like 20 spaces 20 spots, <laughs> 20 spots. So instead of being 70, they were like number 35 or something. So, you know, I think we can we can all work towards specific goals along those lines. Yes. Questions? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve uh, the request for uh, the wellness committee for uh, Shirley and Shirley Weiss and Karen Lippincott. Um, for set for March 18, 2016. Second. I have a motion the second to approve the request for a wellness committee to be headed by uh, Mrs. Lippincott, Mrs. Wise, and Mrs. King. Are there any, is there any discussion or question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three ayes. Thank you. Thank there you. you have it, ladies. Thank you very much. Good Appreciate day. it. Let's try this again. Good morning. No, Good morning. no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> Cleaning out all our boxes this morning. Uh, replacing some shoes here and there on our blades. And got a couple crews set up to do some patching today. So got a lot of work we need to get done on some ditching and a couple culverts. Got to let dry out just a little bit. Um, for your information, in our last meeting, I suggested that you uh, look into a new grade all. And uh, a week ago, Wednesday, I went to a demonstration for it, I think. That, I think that's what it was. Yeah. And uh, I've since contacted uh, the local bank to see what kind of rates they would give us. And while it's a still an ongoing process, we have. Uh, I've reached out to the county council members, uh, those that I could reach by either text or, or email. So uh, we are still working on that project. So I'll probably be in touch with you uh, yet this week on a couple of matters pertaining to that. But uh, I, I know it's something that's that's important. It's a desperate need. Yes. Like I said, I, I'm not big on asking for anything unless we need it. That's a big deal. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Gray was calling me during the 
drainage board meeting. They've got drains stopped up at the jail, so he can't be here. Uh, the sheriff is not here. Michael? have a whole lot going on working on some database stuff for corrections and probation to get uh, them some of their cooperation um, set up going they need for this grant they're using um, also in the last week and a half we blocked Windows 10 from all the computers so Tuesday through Friday of not last week but the week before um, I pretty much went between Mike and myself we touched pretty much every computer in the county and the city but with me in the city and him helping with the county um, along with the regular day-to-day -day stuff so last week was pretty much playing catch up on paperwork and everything else that goes with the day-to-day -day stuff um, going forward uh, they got the video visitation set up in the jail um, I've got to find out what's required for the courtroom but um, I've talked to the judge and I know Joe um, Sheriff Laughlin's in on it wanting to get uh, video um, for the initial hearings and some of the other hearings to save on back and forth of the jail officers for initial hearings and the ones where they don't have to be in the courtroom. Um, the judge says there are a bunch of them they have to be in the courtroom for, but if we can eliminate even a quarter of the transport cost, it'll help. I can tell you that it takes uh, about four hours to get to uh, Michigan City, mm -hmm. pick up your inmate, bring him or her, or bring him back. Uh, they stay overnight, they go to a hearing the next day, and they get transported back. There's another hour. You're 16 to 20 hours downtime, and a lot of those hearings uh, can be done by way of teleconferencing. Um, well, I'm initially, I'm just talking about the ones here in town. Just, yeah, but I'm saying that but but the, the state is recommending, the state's recommending this to save uh, transport costs. Yeah. The judge has said in the past they've had problems with DOC. Um, is doing remote like that just because they mess up scheduling on their end so the hearings get missed because they didn't get the person to the right room in the building to get them connected to it so that's something that we're working on um, just trying to get things improve where we can without spending a whole lot of money so thank you any questions for you good job thank you We do not have uh, a county attorney. Michelle's not here, is she? Okay. Um, the commissioners uh, do not have a county attorney yet. Um, it may be a while. In the meantime, Mr. John Baker is going to pinch it until uh, we secure the services of another attorney. Um, council representative? Probation. I just have a question. Sure. Uh, back in December, the commissioners approved a contract agreement between probation and ASI Ware for a um, phone app program for low risk probationers. Um, it was signed that day and that it was based upon approval of the um, attorney. Um, called the auditor's office yesterday with the changes going on. I didn't realize Appel was late until yesterday. So, I'm just trying to find if that got taken care of before Appel left. I got a new one. I brought a new one today in case it needs to be signed again um, because we're kind of on hold to get that started until we get the contract back. Well, when, when, we, refer, when we refer them to the attorney, mm -hmm. uh, he usually brings us back a report whenever he gets around to it. Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge, that has not been done. Okay. So I will have to contact his former law office and see if they have, uh, as a matter of fact, I have some paperwork I need to go down there and sign anyway, so okay. I will ask them about it at the time. Do you want me to give you another one just in case? Or? No, because okay. just hang on to it because okay. if... I have it if you need it in any If time. he hasn't, uh, if he didn't get a chance to review it, then it still will need to be reviewed by an attorney. Okay. And, and that way, if it's there, they can do it. If not, we'll, we'll get your copy. Okay. Should I um, check back with you or wait? Check, you can check back with me uh, try Thursday. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That was it. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Do we have any mail? <coughs> old business we just took care of. Any new business to come before the board? 
Any patron concerns? Anybody wish, anybody wish to speak? Yes. Go ahead. I would like to thank the general public and everyone for their prayers uh, during my time of stroke and such, uh, and praise the good Lord for healing my body. It's still in the process, and it's probably going to take a while for the numbness to go away, but uh, everything is functioning properly, and I just have so much to be thankful for. And I want to thank everyone in the community for their prayers and concern. Thank you. Anyone else? If there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion for the approval of claims from payroll. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second for the approval of claims from payroll. Is there any question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Three ayes. If there's nothing else to come before the board, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to uh, adjourn. Is there any question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three ayes. We are adjourned.